Select doors from the operations, access control menu on the left. Continuing with our configuration of the Mercury 1502. Select door number 1 for this controller. As with most of the other components we have covered, the majority of information will be populated automatically but we will review to ensure an understanding of the various parameters. Door name. Provide a user-friendly name for the door. For example, LAN room 200 or third floor electrical closet. The door type is optional but should be accurate for informational purposes. The reader name should correspond to the reader that is physically installed at this door. A description is optional and can be used to list any helpful information for system users. The configuration of schedules is covered in a separate training series but for the purposes of this module, schedules are predefined times that can be assigned to various resources in the system. For example, users, or cameras and in this case, doors. If you wish to have this door unlock on a schedule, there are two auto unlock schedules that can be configured for this door. Click the drop down to select from the list of schedules that have been configured in the system. Select the preferred schedule from the drop down list to continue. Rex 1 mode, the normal, default, state of a request to exit device on this door either is normally open or normally closed. Select the arrow next to the drop down list to set the Rex 1 mode type. Unlock on Rex 1, check this box to unlock the door when the action occurs that is selected in Rex 1 type. The door contact mode should match the physical wiring of the door contact. Normally open or normally closed. The system uses this setting to determine if a door has been opened or used. Select the arrow next to the drop down box to select the correct door contact mode. Choose normally open or normally close to continue. If you recall, we set a default door held open timer when we configured the controller. This value can be overridden on a per door basis by editing the door held open time override. The Rex time determines how long, in seconds, a door can remain open after a Rex is activated before it will generate a door forced open alarm or event. Finally, you have the installer and install date fields. When all information has been completed, click Save to continue. The final step in door configuration is the Strike Details. Click the Strike tab to continue. Lock Type, from the drop-down lists, select the type of lock used on this door, such as Mag Lock, Electric Lock Set. Lock Voltage, from the drop-down lists. Select the voltage used on the lock either 12 volts DC or 24 volts DC. The strike time override can be left at the default unless you wish to override the value that was set previously in the controller. After making any changes to the strike parameters, click Save. This concludes the configuration of doors. Please return to the access control playlist to move on to I.O. interfaces.